How's it going, mates? This is Miss Charles. We're back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters again. We're back with this game again. I know I'm playing it a lot lately, and I know some of you are hoping that I play um the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokeduel game. I actually got a request to do that, but I can't do that game because I don't have and I haven't trained my Pokemon. I haven't had the time to, unfortunately. But I, I'm I'm gonna get back to it. I haven't forgotten about it. Dark Magician is missing me, and so is my Karibo. It's just, yeah. Anyway, I can clear this game because this doesn't take grinding. And I'm gonna clear it, even though Weevil is a twat. I hate him so much. And, yeah, I'm just gonna start the tournament. <laughs> I'm still kind of scarred from that battle, to be honest. I can't believe I've lost not once, but twice recently in the in the recent years. Oh, it's, it's Odeon. Have I been against Odeon yet? Hmm, okay, this might be fun then. Figure enshrouded in secrecy, but thought to be Merrick Ishta's aide. Very little is known other than his expertise at, at deploying devious, deploying, deploying devious traps. You will surely become a problem for Master Merrick. I have no quarrel with you, but it is my duty to dispose of you. Forgive me. All right, cool. Very accurate to the season two plot, I guess. Anyway, I've been thinking a lot about the last episode and how to counter the Tom Dickery that is happening in my life. And I think I've got an answer. Because here's the thing, I, I basically lost, well, there were separate reasons. The first one was, well, the opponent was a dick. I didn't like that. But the second reason was the fact I didn't have a good defense in place. And they tunneled through me. And even after that, they just, you know, walked right past all my defenses. So, instead of starting with level ones, I'm going to start with a level 3. Now I know that, yes, this is going to mean the game is going to take forever, but if I do this, I'll have a defense at the beginning of the game, and hopefully, you know, they won't be able to tunnel past me, because they'll have to get past the high defenses that I've got. If they get something higher, it'll probably be like a, a dragon monster, and that, that would just be unrealistic to move. And if they get something low level to, I'll, I'll have something with high defense, like a 30 defense, that should defend me. And it's not too hard to summon a level 3. Well, so I say. And another thing, this would get me a lot of movement anyway. So I, would, would, I probably would have had to do this in the first place. Although I've got to admit, this is probably going to get a bit annoying and a bit long. But still, that's fine. I don't know if I mentioned what today is haunt. Um, so this is going to haunt me. Oh, or, or not. Okay. Uh, who do I want out? You know, I'll get my pumpkin out. I need that. I need that movement. Okay, so I want to use a T, and I want to do it like that, because then he can't come from the left, and he can't come straight ahead, and he shouldn't be able to come from the right unless he wants to make things really difficult for himself. So now there you go, perfect defense. He can't get past that unless he has something really strong, but I doubt he will do that. Or she, if I'm up against a woman at any point in the future, because well. They just never really know how to get the big stuff down. Okay, but anyway, now I can start going back to level 1s. No, level I, I'm not going to get ahead of myself, game. I am going to go ahead with what I said in the first place. But yeah, I think that's that's one thing that went wrong last match. Um, but I don't really have an explanation as to why I've been losing so much lately. Be oh yeah, I can't put that there. Uh, yeah, fine. Okay, yeah, do that then, fine. God, I hate those blocks so much. Why Why did the game designers think that would be a fun idea? It's just not a good idea, full stop. But yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't know why I've been losing a lot lately. It's been kind of annoying. I mean, I wanted to just, you know, get through the game and win it. I could have won by now if I was good at the game. And plot twist, now apparently I'm not. I've only just discovered this for myself. But whatever, it's fine, it's cool. It's just gonna be the same old shit again and again. <laughs> so, you know, something I'm not used to. Okay, put that there. Okay, I seem to be using my blocks in a better way this way. Because now they're actually going more a perfect curve as opposed to everything like that branching out. Like that one that one brick there is doing. Of course I gotta get past fucking Saggy the Dark Clown. Saggy the saggy titted clown. <laughs> Dark the saggy clown. <laughs> Just swap those round. But 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 how is he saggy? Is it his is it his boobs or is it his bullsack? Does he need some exercise? Is he a pervert? Probably. 
I don't know why I'm mentioning this, it just it just suddenly came to me, and I feel like a genius for noticing it now. Even though, well, I sound more like an idiot, to be honest. <laughs> Talking about saggy, saggy tips. <laughs> Damn it, I wish I had him in my deck now, I could make fun of him. It feels weird making fun of someone else's monster. Okay, I can't do that. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And then I'll dock him. I'll make sure penis tip touches penis tip. Uh, I can't really... Oh, I can move around him. Like, he's not even blocking anything though for that chest there. He was before. Alright, trying to summon a level 1. That's not working for you, is it? Well, that ain't how I felt that last round. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd love to get my rabbit horseman out. But I don't really need him out. So I'm going to go for a Riker Shim Powered. Who's quite good in a pinch. You know, he's quite powerful. He has been working out, going to the local gym. Getting in and just being like, yeah, I've got my membership. And then just fucking pumps iron. Oh, I'm definitely going to have all the movement I need. I think I've got all the battle tokens I need. Or the attack tokens or whatever they're called. I haven't really... Oh, where are you going to put that? Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you were going to be smart about this, Odeon. But I guess you're just as... Well, I wouldn't say you're an idiot in the anime. But you're acting like an idiot now. That's, that's my point. That's the, that's the reasoning I'm trying to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, at least I got enough crest now. That was the reasoning I was trying to bring across to you, the viewer. But, you know. Instead, you know. Gotta fucking wait for this guy to fucking... Do something productive. I think he just wants to fill his corner up. That, God damn it. Well, it appears my bad luck streak from the last episode hasn't fucking faded away. Fade to grey. Feel lost like an English someone. Stepping out from a different... To I don't know the lyrics of that song. It's Fade to Grey by Visage. I used to play it all the time, but it just sounded like a lot of mumbling to me back in the day. I'm not saying it's a bad song. I'm saying the lyrics aren't really clear. Except for Devon Yorka... Oh my god! I have enough battle tokens to fucking start a world war! Can I please just summon something? If you want me to get level 1, I... Ah, shit. How the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've had like all the times I want to try and get something else I haven't. He's at all the summons. All of them. And he's just filled up his fucking zone over there. What are you trying to do? Make your own private boogie wonderland? Oh, finally. God, I thought I was going to die of old age, to be honest. Right, anyway. Nothing really changes there. Uh, sh uh Well, I'd rather not do that. Uh yeah. No, I can't do that. Why can't I do that? How about if I move it round? Yeah, do that, and then I can swish across. I can swish across like a Why did What happened? Why was Baby Dragon suddenly offended? No family pros or cons. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So I can't collect my child benefit. Look, baby dragon, I don't think you realize. Do you know what a fucking child to raise from birth to being an adult is 250 grand? How the fuck am I going to fucking pay 250 grand for my child if, if I don't have any family pros or cons? I... 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 I Baby Dragon's got to stop being a dick. He's got to understand the economy. You know, I've got to fucking work two jobs all the time. And fucking... What? Uh, I don't know why Baby Dragon has to be such a dick about his family pros and cons. He's a baby. He can't make these economic decisions. Alright, cool. I kind of want to attack him for that. But I can't really do it because he's flying, as far as I know. Alright, well, anyway. <laughs> Maybe I could nuke him. Maybe I could go over that chest there, and maybe if I'm lucky, it's a nuke. I'm not going to risk it, because I don't need to risk it. Anyway, what's he got? A ton of movement. That's not what I was hoping for. But he doesn't seem to be doing anything good with it, so I don't know why I'm worried. Uh, okay, I don't really need anything to complete this game, but just in case, I'm going to guard myself. Because I don't want him to haunt me with his, with his professional... Whatever the fuck. Oh, that was a useless roll. Why, why did my cursor just randomly go to Baby Dragon? Did you see that? 
Look, I know I might need to mind the baby here, but fucking... I'm, I'm busy just whipping this guy. I'm busy beating this daddy's... This, this baby's fucking daddy. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, you can fuck right off. Are you dead? Are you dead? Yeah, that's what I thought. You know what? I may not be able to deal with flying monsters. But yeah, at least that one I, I dealt with. At least that one got what it deserved. For trying to give me no family pros and cons. Fucking twat. Okay, I'm just going to kill you. And good. That was nice and easy. Nothing too hard. Nothing too infuriating about it. Except the weird navigation thing. But I can deal with that. Alright, cool. Maybe you'll be added to my collection if I'm a good... Oh! I'm against uh, that fucking brother. The Esperoba brother. I don't think I have him in my collection yet. Okay, so actually redoing this whole thing actually has been kind of... Oh, I'm not. Okay. Damn it, I got excited there because I saw him go. I, I sent him to the next round. Yeah, I beat you before. You weren't even that good. Well, you choose your own destiny. I don't know who's going to win because I'm fucking dumb AF. Cool. Well, that, that's a Shizu's dialogue for you. Okay, let's see if I can make this easy. Easy to breathe on TV. So, I didn't know cats could throw up. I know this is a weird thing to bring up. Like, all of a sudden, just out of the blue, we're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like, oh yeah, I didn't know about cats throwing up. Um, kind of because I want to talk about something that haunts me. Or that is that, that is a haunt, uh, so to speak. Um, so, basically... Our cats like eating food from our plates. I don't normally let them. I think the only exception where I just was like, yeah, fucking go for it, was when I had like some four day old Kentucky Fried Chicken and we had like leftovers and I was like, I don't like this. I didn't I didn't even choose the order. It was something that my girlfriend picked up, my dear Katie. And she was like, oh, you can have this if you want. And I was like, oh, that sounds nice. And it wasn't. So I gave my, my cat Tiger, that's the nice sweet one that's, you know, attentive and I, I probably didn't say that in the Tomb Raider episodes. But yeah, basically I gave her all my chicken. The other six, well, I don't know, they just either weren't in the room or they'd been naughty, to be honest. Uh, anyway, one time we had a pie. And it was like a frozen steak and red wine pie. And we left it in the lounge and didn't think anything of it. We just thought, you know, that the fucking... We'll sort the scraps later because it's 4 a.m. We've just had fun watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And we, we just went to bed. Not knowing that the cats had eaten the pie behind our backs. And I woke up and found cat vomit in, in a few places in the lounge. Thankfully, the carpet wasn't installed yet. Else I would have been terrified. And, you know, that would have been 500 pounds that had just been vomited on. I mean, could you imagine, like, having a bank account? with Lloyd, um, and then fucking going to him, like, oh, can I, can I withdraw some funds? I need to pay my, my tax or whatever. And then finding out, no, you can't, because, you, well, your cat has just vomited on, our, on your bank account, and we don't really want to touch that. I mean, if, if someone said that to me, I'd be like, fair enough, I wouldn't want to touch, I, I wouldn't want to touch cat shit out the mouth either. So I'm just saying, that's something that haunts me, and I want you guys to, to remember that after this episode. I want you to remember, I've seen a cat vomit on my crap. So, you know, that's good. And the pie was just, I think the most horrifying thing, the most horrifying thing was to see the pie completely empty. Like, it was a quarter of a pie, and they'd eaten all of the inside. There was no red sauce, nothing. Pure pastry. That was it. Th nothing else in there. Alright, anyway, now you know that story. I hope you can get along with your lives now. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, on to the summoning. I've got decent movement and attack, but not all of them I need yet. If I get Battle War, I should have everything I need. Put you there. Okay, I don't know why I didn't use a different thing, but that's fine. Yeah, I get more stuff. I can attack flying monsters, which doesn't make sense to me with Battle Warrior. Like, has anyone bothered to ask why he can attack flying monsters? I mean, he's he's a simple man. He's got big, strong, manly muscles. Yeah, okay, fine. So he works out. But does working out mean you can fucking fly? That's the logic of this game, anyway, because he doesn't have wings. He can't do anything. I've seen him in the, the, the duel again with Joey against Bones. He, he's just a, a guy with his fists up. If anything, he's got the fucking ability of a, a drunk brawler at, a, at the local pub or fucking... Bar you, you, you frequent. 
I, I don't get how he can attack flying monsters. It just it it really baffles me, you know. All right. Anyway, I, I suppose this is for this is a thought for another day. I mean, at least he can do that, but it's not going to be much use to me, only because well, I don't have any monsters he can really go against, and the ones that he can attack are probably going to be like thirty attack anyway. All right, fine. So these I've nearly bridged this gap. So far, the tournament's going nicely. And Gemini Elf is out. Well, shit. That could severely bone me in some area. 50 attack. Do you know I else had 50 attack? Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. But that could only move one space. Okay. Okay. I see how you're playing this game. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. So we can see next time what I'm going to do about this really pissed off Gemini Elf. So yeah, looking forward to going through this game. This tournament, I think, will be easier than it was before. Only because I think I kind of lucked out like in that Weevil battle. But this time I'm going to do it. This time I just need to ascend through. And if I have to save after every battle, I fucking will. But you know what? How's this going to go down? Is Gemini Elf going to fuck me? Or am I going to fuck... Well, I can't fuck Gemini Elf. I'm in a relationship. Or am I going to say, no, Gemini Elf. I don't want any of your, your alcoholic pussy today. Well, we may see that in the next episode. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself, have fun rolling dice while you still can. Whilst they're hot, there will be a link to the game. That, that, was, a, that was a dice rolling thing. That wasn't a toss-off. That was me rolling dice in my hand. There will be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado... The Hooks go channel until this time. See ya!